Mandar, uh, what is your call on the Nifty? Friday saw a seven-day losing streak uh, coming to an end. Was that a pause or was it in just, just a break for now or was it actually some sort of reversal that you're seeing for the short term at least? Uh, good morning, Samina. Um, see, uh, right now the Nifty basically is drifting downwards and it's because of lack of triggers. And we know that a major event is playing on, that's demonetization. So therefore, due to lack of clarity, uh, the Nifty is drifting downwards. Plus, we are into a holiday season as well. Uh, now, at current levels, I think uh, the Nifty is uh, uh, trading just above crucial support. So, uh, immediate support for the day should be watched at uh, 7946 and 7916. Uh, so, uh, that's a major support level. If 7916 is broken, then yes, there will be sure weakness uh, which can take the Nifty down to 7700, 7600 as well. But as we trade above these supports and we are into an expiry week, therefore I think uh, more or less the, uh, uh, the Nifty would remain uh, where we are right now. So more or less around those 8000 levels is where the Nifty would trade. The intraday trade would be very uh, narrow and uh, very range bound. Uh, throughout the week is what I expect. Uh, so basically, till the time we trade on supports, uh, we should not be uh, just because we are on support right now. Uh, the view right now should be uh, towards uh, the long side because the long trade would be in favor as your risk reward ratio would be in the favor of a long trade. Uh, I think uh, the overall range for the short term remains to be 7,900 in 8,250. And uh, right now, the Nifty is at the lower end of the range. Mandar, uh, what is the take on Bank Nifty right now? Are you looking to initiate fresh shorts if you see a gap down in today's opening? Um, I mean, if, if I compare the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, then the Bank Nifty is surely looking weak. Uh, uh, what has happened is after it has fallen from uh, the levels of 20,000 uh, uh, during the first week, uh, November, uh, it went through a sideways consolidation when it was trading between 18,100 and 18,700 and then finally it's drifted downwards, it's uh, broken those 18,000 levels as well. So if it continues to trade below 18,000, then possibly the bank Nifty could uh, go down to 17,000. Uh, but I think along with the Nifty, we could uh, the bank Nifty would also drift onwards. Uh, so seven, though the next level is 17,000, I don't expect that to happen. Quite possibly the bank nifty could go down another uh, 200 points, but we would have uh, uh, support coming in from maybe HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank. They would pro provide support and uh, uh, as the PSU banks trade with weakness, uh, these two banks could provide support and hold on to the bank index. So therefore, bank nifty also uh, levels which one needs to watch is... Uh, 17,900, uh, which is an important level till the time it trades below 17,900, there will be sure weakness. If it starts trading above 17,900, then one, one can expect a bounce back in the bank nifty as well. Mandar, did you see the rally in some of these sugar names? Uh, you've had a pretty good run up. So, Paris sugar is up 20%, Oat sugar did about 20, 12%, Uttam sugar is up 12%, uh, Dwarikesh had a good run. Any sort of trade over here or was it just uh, a one off? Uh, so, I mean, I think uh, these stocks, uh, sugar stocks have already witnessed a big rally and therefore uh, right now they are going through a, a sideways consolidation. So, most of the stocks are going through those range. So, if I look at a pa Paris sugar, uh, then the current range for the stock is uh, uh, 35, which is a support on the lower side and uh, a one-off uh, spike uh, at 55. So, that's a resistance for the stock. So, me, I think these spikes are one-off trades. Um, uh, at higher levels, the uh, moves would fizzle out and there could be profit booking and they'll continue to consolidate. Now, what has happened is if I if I look at a stock like uh, uh, Dwarike Sugar, then the stock uh, uh, in 2015 was trading at around 20, 20 levels. From 21, the stock has moved up to make a high at around 350, 360. Now, after witnessing this bigger rally, uh, it's difficult for the stock again to move up and whenever you have an upside move, you the stock tends to witness profit booking so uh, the bias is more uh, of profit booking as the stock moves up therefore that's the pressure which comes in as the price moves up so these are one-off trades and at higher levels they could face resistance mandar i just wanted to come in on one stock now Mo i got a view from mohit and bv's lab how are you looking at this one 20 percent off in one trading session uh, 
yes i mean see basically the stock was trading sideways and uh, uh, as it uh, showed us uh, weakness on thursday uh, it looked like yes it was going to fall now this big uh, fall was not expected but uh, 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 these pharma stocks are more prone to uh, weakness as uh, uh, these stocks also have rallied uh, uh, quite a bit in the last uh, two to three years therefore the weakness but at current levels i think the stock would find support uh, uh, for today more or less i think the trade would be range bound after this bigger uh, uh, fall and uh, so the entire trade would be uh, should be a, a narrow range trade in the in the stock and the stock should be able to find support at current levels uh, not major weakness from current levels is expected as of now mandar uh, any trade in some of those banking names so be it in axis Yes Bank, uh, HDFC Bank, either on the short or long side. Um, so I mean, Axis is looking weak. Uh, uh, see, the stock had a support at around uh, those 441, 442 levels, and uh, the stock has closed uh, below this uh, on uh, Friday. So quite possibly, the stock could uh, head lower uh, uh, to 420, 400 levels, and uh, worst case could also be 380. So this is the uh, this is this is the weakest stock among uh, the. Uh, private banking space uh, hdfc uh, uh, bank is trading uh, range bound right now it's trading in a range a narrow range uh, with a support at around 1160 and a resistance uh, at around uh, 1200 so uh, the stock uh, seems to be uh, or the stock is providing support to the bank nifty as of now and uh, therefore the stock could continue uh, to trade in this range Uh, yes bank also is trading sideways more or less sideways it has got a support at around 1100 uh, and a resistance at around uh, 1220 so that's the range for the stock so uh, weakest among these uh, private banking space lo- uh, looks to be axis bank uh, yes uh, icici bank also is on a support uh, at around 2250 so quite possibly it should hold on if 250 is broken then the stock could fall, fall down to 240 as well uh, so this is one stock which one needs to watch so axis and icic bank two stocks which one can watch on the uh, weak side as of longs i think longs are not there the stocks are not showing strength as of now uh, if any of the levels on the higher side are broken then quite possibly the view would change but uh, till that happens uh, these are the two stocks which one needs to watch mandar uh, any trading calls this morning uh yes i mean a uh, two uh, stocks uh, in the first uh, two minutes of trade uh, uh, on the long side stc india is uh, uh, showing strength the follow up of buying what uh, was witnessed on uh, but it's already near its circuit so that's on the long side and on the short side uh, uh, jubilant food looks weak uh, this stock uh, has been showing weakness it's broken a a, a, a major uh, uh, support at around those uh, 900 uh, levels and uh, it seems that the stock is going down to 7680 so therefore this is one stock on the short side tamandar a couple of big movers on pretty large volumes you've got state trading corporation it's up another 20% today jcop is up 6% hindustan copper is up about 3% uh, what are you doing with these stocks any trade up here um so i mean uh, stc uh, uh stc basically uh, is a follow up of uh, uh, friday's uh, move that was witnessed so on friday also it had hit an uh, upper circuit and today also in the first 5 uh, minutes it's it's in, it is hit in circuit uh, so right now it's trading at 170 to 20 20% up uh, in case of jay corp jay corp was also witnessed the gap up opening uh i think the move can continue to maybe 70 to 74 levels but overall on the end of the day charts the stock uh, is trading range bound for the last uh, one month it's trading between levels of uh, 65 which is a support and uh, uh, 73 74 which is uh, a resistance so if this uh, buying continues then the stock could head higher to 73 74 but that's a resistance the next move would a big move would come only beyond 74 in this case in case of hindustan copper uh, the stock has witnessed a uh, good buying in the first 5 uh, minutes of trade uh, but at uh, current level, uh, levels of 62 there is also profit booking which is coming in uh, so between 62 and 66 there is a resistance band so possibly if uh, uh, the stock manages to uh, trade above 62 it could head higher in the intraday trade to 64 65 levels as well but the next big move would only be beyond this uh, major resistance at 65 
Well, uh, just pull up DV's lab because Sameer just mentioned that stock is actually down to 780. It's not looking good at all. So 40% off on the counter is what we're seeing. 8% gone in today's day of trade. 790. So 800 has been breached. Mandar, uh, uh, is this unexpected lines? This sell-off is being overdone and it may not just be such a bad idea to buy the stock for a short-term pullback. Um, Sabina, actually the stock trades on support. So at current levels uh, at around 780, 790, the stock has got a good support. Uh, though we are witnessing a sell-off in the uh, first uh, uh, 5-10 minutes of trade, uh, this is a follow-up of what happened on Friday. I think... Uh, uh, it would not be right to jump onto the stock right now. Uh, we should see as to how the intraday trade pans out. In the intraday trade, if the stock manages to bounce back and if it manages to trade above 820, then yes, surely one can uh, get into a trade for a target of 840, 845 in the intraday trade. But at, as of now, I think one should wait and watch as to how what happens because it's quite possible that the stock could go through a consolidation at current levels between 780 and 800 and then maybe give us a downward breakout. So basically, it is better to trade on a confirmation than on an assumption. Uh, so as of now, I think wait, uh, see as to how the uh, price manages to move and then decide your trade in this case.